Inline styles are useful when you prototype or want to demonstrate some concepts. But the better way to style React Native objects is to use Stylesheet API. This API is pretty simple and we will use its create method only. You got a preview of how it works in a code generated by create react native app. Create method is used to create an object with styles that you can apply to your components. I will move our existing styles to it. So let's copy it and I will paste it here and make small changes so that the code is valid. Now I will update components to use the styles defined here. Okay, it works. The styles is just a standard variable name that we use to store the value of stylesheet. So why do we need stylesheet create at all? Using it results in more readable code as the render function gets smaller. The name you pick for your style serves as a way to document your code. You give a meaning to your components. Stylesheet create also performs style validations. If you enter an invalid style, you get an error instead of a warning. So if I set color to something not correct, I get color triple A is not a valid style property. When I used an inline object and change it, I will only get a warning here. The real reason to use stylesheet create is improved app performance. With inline styles, a new object is created each time a render function is called. And render method gets called very often because this is how React works. When you pass a stylesheet object, you refer to styles by a number ID. Let's see how it really works. I will log inline style, so bold and blue, and after that I will log style sheet. Styles bold and blue. Now when I save and open the console you can see that the inline style is locked as a complete JavaScript object. This is what we expected, while styles bold and blue is locked as an integer. In future versions of React Native, style should create is meant to send the style through the native bridge only once. It will bring another performance improvement. As a final step of this lesson, I will improve the code and move all the inline styles inside the style sheet create. So I will start with this style and we'll name it square. Now square is equal to the style that we had defined in the inline form. Okay. The same for the red color. Styles red. Good. Now I will move font size 24 to its own style. So again, styles, I will call it big text.
and this is in fact the same as bold and blue so i will reuse it styles bold and blue okay let's just move it to multiple lines and now i will also get rid of console logs and inline styles defined previously okay good we are done with moving all the styles into stylesheet create